1970, a TV series burst onto screens, captivating audiences with its compelling narratives and memorable characters. Have you ever thought about the first time you tuned in to witness the drama unfold? The show has endured the test of time, becoming a symbol of the industry. What enduring qualities do you believe have contributed to its everlasting impact? Get ready for a journey filled with funny, shocking, and sad facts as you delve into the world of this iconic series. Curious about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the show? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, when was the first time you caught a glimpse of the series that has left an indelible mark on television history? What makes it stand the test of time for you? Share your thoughts and experiences, the stage is yours. Stay tuned for more intriguing insights, and don't forget to share your own anecdotes. This is just the beginning of a nostalgic trip down memory lane. Keep watching for more surprises. In 1970, a groundbreaking series debuted on television, shaping the daytime drama scene for years. Imagine sitting on the edge of your seat as the first episode unfolded before you. The storytelling and introduction of memorable characters marked the start of a journey that would span eras and leave a lasting mark on television history. Known as All My Children, it wasn't just a show, it mirrored societal shifts and cultural changes. The series went beyond entertainment, portraying a vivid picture of the world and evoking emotions that resonated with audiences. What makes this show timeless isn't just its ability to entertain, but its exploration of human relationships and societal issues. It became a mirror reflecting the evolving world it inhabited, with characters becoming integral parts of viewers' lives. As you reminisce about the show, what memories or experiences come to mind? Was it the shock of unexpected twists, the laughter shared with beloved characters, or the poignancy of emotional moments that endeared it to your heart? Share your thoughts, the stage is yours. Stay tuned for more insights into this series. Join us on this nostalgic trip down memory lane as we uncover the layers of a show that became more than just a TV series, it became a companion in life's journey. This is just the beginning of uncovering the depth and impact of all my children. Keep watching for more surprises and revelations that will rekindle your connection with a show that went beyond the ordinary. Following its conclusion on ABC in September 2011, All My Children took an unexpected turn Crystal Stars, in a post-series interview, revealed that the original ABC series finale had a conclusive ending, wrapping up the character arcs with happy resolutions. However, when the show transitioned to a web series under Prospect Park, the intended finale was replaced with a cliffhanger, altering the anticipated closure for devoted viewers. In the world of long-serving soap opera actors, Ruth Warwick's portrayal of Phoebe Tyler Wallingford stands out. She holds the 22nd position on the all-time list of the longest-serving soap opera actors in the United States. Warwick's enduring presence in the series and her performance on the show had a significant impact on its narrative. Warwick's connection with Agnes Nixon, the creator of All My Children, goes back to their time as lifelong friends. They formed a bond during their collaboration on Guiding Light in 1952, leading to Nixon's decision to cast Warwick as Phoebe Tyler Wallingford when she created All My Children in 1970. The personal history between Warwick and Nixon adds a layer to the show's inception, showcasing the collaborative nature behind the scenes. This camaraderie between the creator and the actor played a crucial role in shaping the dynamic character of Phoebe Tyler Wallingford, who became an integral part of the series' tapestry. As we explore the various aspects of All My Children, the interplay between the intended conclusion, characters like Phoebe Tyler Wallingford, and backstage friendships enrich the narrative. It's a journey that goes beyond the television screen, delving into the complexities of storytelling and the human connections that make this series a noteworthy piece of television history. In 2005, All My Children faced a poignant moment as it bid farewell to Ruth Warwick, commemorating her with a dedicated episode. The character's passing marked not only the end of her journey, but also a touching acknowledgement of Warwick's impactful contributions. The episode, aired on May 12, showcased Warwick's memorable performances through flashbacks, creating a fitting tribute. Her final words, Langley is waiting for me, unveiled a long-awaited acknowledgement of her husband's death, adding a layer of emotional depth to the storyline. The funeral episode resonated with viewers as characters deeply intertwined with the narrative returned, underscoring the show's ability to intertwine past and present seamlessly. In 2013, an interesting turn occurred as Dimitri Merrick re-entered the narrative. 
actor Michael Nader, facing hair-related concerns, decided to embrace a bald look after encountering co-star Thorsten K's lush locks. Nader humorously stated, I am not competing with that head of hair. This decision showcased the camaraderie and humor behind the scenes, offering a glimpse into the actor's dynamics and adaptability. The off-screen friendship between Louis Edmonds and a co-star adds a personal touch to the show's legacy. Edmonds, who portrayed Phoebe's husband Langley Wallingford, confided in his on-screen wife, illustrating the depth of connections formed beyond the scripted lines. The revelation of Edmonds' real-life secret, shared with a trusted colleague, emphasizes the familial atmosphere among the cast, transcending the professional realm. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes enrich the understanding of the show, highlighting the human aspects that fueled its success. From heartfelt tributes to actors' camaraderie, the series extended beyond its on-screen drama, creating a unique bond with its audience. Ruth Warwick, a member of the Democratic Party, brought her liberal political views to the set of the soap opera All My Children in its early years. Despite her personal opposition to the character's strong right-wing stance and support for the Vietnam War, Warwick's portrayal of Phoebe Tyler Wallingford added a unique dynamic to the show. In 2011, the show's elements, like the Chandler Mansion, found new life on General Hospital as Anna Devane's home. This reuse showcased the versatility of the production, seamlessly integrating them into another soap opera's story. Warwick faced a life-altering event in 2001 when she broke her hip while vacationing in Greece, leading to her confinement to a wheelchair. This prompted a reduction in her role on All My Children, underscoring the real-life challenges that actors sometimes grapple with behind the scenes. The off-screen relationships mirrored the complexities portrayed on the show. Ruth Warwick's deep connection with Agnes Nixon, the creator, dated back to their collaboration on Guiding Light in 1952. This personal history played a pivotal role in Warwick's casting as Phoebe Tyler Wallingford in 1970, highlighting the collaborative nature behind the scenes. As the show bid farewell to Ruth Warwick in 2005, the dedicated episode served as a poignant tribute. Flashbacks showcased Warwick's memorable performances, while her character's passing marked not only the end of an on-screen era, but also acknowledged Warwick's impactful role in the show. The camaraderie among the cast continued to shine off-screen. From Michael Nader's humorous decision to embrace a bald look to Louis Edmonds sharing real-life secrets with on-screen wife Ruth Warwick, these anecdotes enriched the understanding of the show, showcasing the familial atmosphere among the cast. All My Children's ability to adapt and endure, both in terms of storytelling and behind-the-scenes dynamics, shows its lasting influence on television history.